and I'm just going to push the sticks in the top left and right corners. Ready? And pull up a little bit and... Oh -ho! Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to HobbyKing.com. My name is Stuart and I'm here to present to you a brand new model under the HKing brand. This is the HKing 1400mm Plug and Fly Frenzy. Now this is flying under the HKing brand. This 1400mm span model is a sports aerobatic model. That being said, it could also be used as a trainer. It's very forgiving, it flies extremely well, but really it's a good all-round sports aerobatic model as I will demonstrate to you when we get out to the field in just a minute. This 1400 millimeter span model comes out the box with a two-part wing. Uh, you just need to glue that together and you can also use the fuselage as a jig when you glue the wing together. We'll uh, allude to that in the instruction manual which is of course available uh, on, on the files tab of the listing or if you already know how to assemble models, as with all the uh, Hobby King models coming nowadays, you'll get a quick setup guide with the model. Now with the quick setup guide, it will assume you already know how to assemble a, a model because it is very basic in the way it goes together. It gives you the essentials such as the CG, the battery recommendations and the throw. So look out for this in the box. If you want the full assembly manual though, it is available to download on the uh, files tab of the product listing. Again, link to uh, that uh, listing underneath the video. So 1400 millimeter span, as I said, it has four nine gram high torque servos uh, pre-installed and it has a, a 880 kV brushless outrunner and that is controlled by the included uh, 40 amp speed controller. It's running off, as it says on the quick setup guide, a 2200 3S LiPo. So a very common battery, everybody has one and if you don't, they're very, uh, very cheap and economical, of course available from our site. Again, link to this battery underneath the description too. And with this battery, you will get in excess of seven plus minutes flight time. And that's not just cruising around, that's actually a lot of full throttle flying as well. It's got a lot of power because it's a lightly loaded model, but with that 3S setup, you'll be surprised by the amount of power. If you don't believe me again, Give us a few minutes and we will take you out and give you a flight demonstration. Uh, it is uh, very lightly loaded, it's got a generous wing area, it's got generous control surfaces, so all in all it makes for a great sports aerobatic design. That being said, you can slow it down, tame it down on the rates, and you've actually got a very good trainer too. But primarily we're uh, pushing this as a sports aerobatic model. It's a great model down at the club for just any type of weather flying. We're actually quite blessed here right now. We've got relatively light winds and it's sunny, but even on the strongest of winds, you can park this in the wind and have a lot of fun with it. And again, it's got power in reserves to get you out of any trouble. Now features of the model itself, not only has it got this very high vis striking scheme, it's also got this chrome finished spinner. It's got oversized wheels on the undercarriage just to really handle all the knocks and bumps from a rough field. And it has reinforcements in the airframe. So you've also got carbon reinforced longer ons along the fuselage large and all around it's just a good solid design. Steerable tail wheel linked to the rudder and it's basic four channels to control so you will need anything from a four to six channel receiver because you've got the aderons which are controlled via a wire lead into one channel, elevator, rudder and throttle. Of course what you can do is have the aileron separately and you can have flap roms if you wish. We'll leave that up to your discretion. Also, uh, with the wire lead that's included for the ailerons, you can also plug in the wingtip LEDs. There's a red and green one on the tips and you'll see those a little later on. So if you're flying at dusk, it's handy for that too. You've got a very conveniently placed battery hatch. You just clip, uh, pull on the sides here and that comes up like so. Into there, you'll put your 2200 3S, close the hatch again, and it's all very, very convenient. Uh, you don't need to worry about battery position because you put a 2200 right there in that spot and Bob your uncle, it balances perfectly. So there's not really much else to say about the model itself uh, other than to give you a demonstration of its flying. Like I said, it's a good all-round sports model. I've had a lot of fun with this, just honing my aerobatic skills. I'm not particularly an aerobatic pilot, but this gives you confidence very, very quickly to get out there and really play around with the sticks. One last thing I will mention on the features, uh, we've also added some reinforcement into the cowl here. You see that it's got this 
PVC vacuum form molded front to the cow. That just takes uh, away any chance of the cow getting crushed if you're tipping it up on its nose because it's in contact with that hard plastic. So it helps keep the cow nice and pristine too. If you do need to access the motor, you can remove the prop and spinner and there's two screws here to make that cow removable. So that's about it for the features of the model. Now we're gonna take it out to the field and give you a, uh, a flight demonstration of the H-King 1400 millimeter frenzy. Let's go. Okay, so we're out on the field now, ready to give the 1400 millimeter frenzy uh, a ride. Speaking of which, we've got our onboard camera, so look out for that. Now, just whilst we're here, I'll talk you through throws because I'm gonna be switching through high rate and low rate in the flight. So if you can see there, on my aileron, for example, that's my low rate and that's my high rate. Again, referring to the quick setup guide, uh, it's the same settings, it's the same setup. So that's high, that's low. And then for elevator, that's low and that's high. A uh, little bit of difference, but you'll see, you'll see when it gets up there. So let's taxi out. It does taxi very, very well. And we'll give you a flight demo of the Frenzy. Okay, so taxiing. I've got him pretty much in low right now. Handles very easily. I'll just uh, take it to the far side of the field to show you guys. It can do a nice long takeoff, but I'll give you an idea on the ground there. That's full rates on the, uh, on the rudder, on the steering. So you can do donuts all day long. Those bigger wheels, Helping with all those little bumps. It does not fall over, does it? It does not. It's a very wide start, so I'm going to right. go into takeoff. Ease on the throttle. That was just under half uh, throttle takeoff. Still climbing out. We'll just get it onto step, as it were. I haven't gone above half throttle at the moment. A little bit of traffic on the pattern. How's that color looking? It really pops. Now, speaking of color, look at the difference. So, on the bottom, it's really just blues and blacks. And on the top, well, I'll show you as I go by here. On the top, you want to see the top? Here's the top. And a knife edge. There's the top. Really, really popped, eh? I'll hold knife it. edge looks really easy. I'll hold it. Yeah, it's, um, what's it called? Uh, very neutral. Now, nice. I am not a aerobatic pilot. So that's why I need to concentrate a bit here on the knife edge, but it does it well. Here we go. Yeah, that's holding nice. Yeah, whew, now I can breathe. Um, not because it's a challenge with the model, just it's a challenge for me. I've been flying a long time. Doesn't mean I'm a particularly accomplished pilot, but uh, it's a great sports aerobatic model. So speaking of which, take it up. We'll do a nice stall turn up the top there. Let it stall. Oh, okay, bit of a hammerhead. My cameraman would not approve. So I'm just playing with the throttle now. Got a bit of tra uh, traffic on pattern. So I'm gonna come around again to the right and we'll start getting into it as soon as that guy lands. But for colors, you can see that there, the, the, the pinks and the purples and all those vibrant colors really contrasting ni nicely for me. I hope they are for you guys too. All right, let's give you guys full power climb out on three. It's ready, going up. It's not super fast, but it's got the power, uh, sorry, the pull. And I'm just gonna stick bang now. And one and a two, and let it come out. So that's what I like about this design. You can just, throw it around and it's very very forgiving. It doesn't do anything too fast, but it has got some speed. I'll give you some indication of that. I'm gonna do a full power pass. This is full power now. See, it's got, it scoots along. Now you can also run this on LIHV. This is just a 50C pack, LiPo, but LIHV, it will take. And it's screws for sports model flying. Let me just show you a touch and go briefly. It glides really quite well. Keep a little bit of power on. And then, uh, we'll do a touch and go, right? One wheel touch and go. A little bit of opposite rudder. How's that looking? That looks really and nice. That's what these big wheels really, really help with. I'm gonna take it up and do a stall turn there. A little bit crooked into it, but that's okay. Do a low rate roll coming this way. Low rate roll. Pretty neutral. And I'm gonna come back into wind if there is such a thing and we'll do a high rate roll. Oh, sorry, slipped in the sticks there. High rate roll, ready, now. Again, these are just my settings. So if you wanna maximize it, you can play around with those. But it's not meant to be super crazy 3D movements, because it's just a sports model. But it's also a very, very good trainer option. Okay, bring it around and keep the rudder in. This is the other thing, you can fly it in a tight space, and that's what I'll do right now. I'm gonna go into mid rates now on all the control surfaces. 
flipping the throttle a bit just to give me a bit of inertia and airflow over the surfaces. Look at this cruising round. And then straight into a knife edge again. Look at that. Very nice. I think I'll do that again. That looked rather smart. How was that on camera? You're really getting the hang of the knife edge, aren't you? I, yeah, well, that's the thing. I'm not a good pilot. But an airframe like this really gets you into the groove of things. It's a great teaching aid, even for people that have been flying for years like myself, or if you're just getting into it. So speaking of getting into it, let's get into the knife edge again. Takes it nice and slow. Don't need a lot of power. That's a half of now, a little bit more. Shall I maintain it? Let's maintain it's it. It's gorgeous. Look if you uh, increase the throttle, can you even, can you, uh, you can gain altitude in, the, can, yeah. in knife edge? That's the sign of a pretty good plane. Let's, I like uh, it. I'm going to bring it this way a bit. And I'm in mid rates now. I usually knife edge in low, but here we go. So that's just cruising past at half throttle, increase the power. And it starts to pull out with rudder. Yeah, just about. Ah, there we go. Comes out of it at the top there. Stays really stable though. It I is like super, it. super yeah. stable. Let's just do a few loops and stuff. Now you see the LED. Maybe you can just see the LEDs cooking there. I don't know. Right, so I'm going to bring it around and do a loop from level flight. And up she goes. Oh, it's a loop. I mean, it's so special, but it does it very nicely. Do another roll off there, high rate. Oh, one thing I did just the other day, well, just uh, earlier this afternoon, I did a rolling circle, didn't I? You did, yeah. So, I think I had it on mid rates. Let's try that again now. From memory, how does it go? I used to be able to do it. It's a good plane to try it with. And can't really talk that much because I need to concentrate. It's doing it. Very big ones. I think I need to slow down a bit. I hope you're getting on that camera. I got it, yeah. I'm going above our heads, which I don't like. <laughs> That's a bit too high Very, for me. very big ones. Yeah. See right, if I can pick it up again. mistakes high. Ooh, right, well, my neck's aching. But hopefully you got the impression. Uh, yeah, I got the idea. I just missed the, the plane now. Let me find that. Is this it? There we go. There we go. All right, so practice on my part, but it will definitely do it. And again, that's what it's all about. It's about honing those aerobatic skills and just having a lot of fun. And I want to show you power, so I'll just try and see if I can get it to hover. Well, how's that for you? There we go. Okay, that looks like a hover to me. I am not a kind of an accomplished pilot that I can maintain a hover, but when I want to practice, this will be the plane I do it with. I'll bring it around and do it a little bit closer. Look at that, and beautifully stable in the turn. Right, I'm going to pop up into it more now. How's that? Nice. There you go. You there got it. Go, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. I'm hovering. I'm hovering. Woo! Okay. Nice. There we go. See, this feels good. That felt like quite an accomplishment. So what you say, this is like a good plane for after your first trainer and before your first aerobatic plane. Exactly that. And if you've been flying for 20 plus years and you're getting a bit bored of doing the same old banking yank and want to hone your skills in the aerobatic arena, which is exactly my <laughs> predicament. Um, I'm going to flip it into another knife edge here. Holds that very, very nice. Look at that. Try it. Yeah, this is okay. So it's what it's all about. It's about practicing your aerobatic, sports aerobatic skills. So let's. Oh no, I fell out of it. Oh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. That's okay. Could you show us? Uh, I mean, it's going to be very uneventful. Could you show us the stall? Yep. Okay. Good idea. And then we'll do a few more touch and goes because it's got those big bouncy wheels. All right, here we go. So into wind, uh, and you're gonna pull up now. No, it's stalling, I think it is. And there's the stall. See that, just a very, very gentle um, drop to the side there. We'll roll it over, we'll do a little bit of inverted. It does that very nicely too. Just a fraction, and I mean a fraction of down elevator. Okay, have a look on camera. Big Beautiful. wheels at the top, really, really helping for orientation. Look at that. Now we can speed it up a bit. Of course, everything happens a little faster, so if you're not used to flying inverted, bring it a few mistakes high. Of course, I want to showboat for the camera, so I'm going to try and bring it closer and lower. Let's hope I don't mess that up. No, with this airframe, you never would. Look at that. Lovely, and it can bunt out of it too. Look at that. And I'm just going to push the sticks in the top left and right corners. Ready? And pull up a little bit and... Oh now, what do you call that, Andres? You're an aerobatic pilot. I would just call it a tumble. A tumble, okay. A 
does that very, very nicely. Here it comes. Looks cool. Now this is the other thing. I'm going to slow it down now. It's got those big, big wheels. I put bigger wheels on there for a, a reason. Not only do they look cool, but they are great for doing touch and goes, even when the grass is a little bit neglected like it is now. So get it over on, let it, one wheel again. Opposite rudder. Look at that wing scrape too. Oh, oh it's on. so forgiving. There we go, lovely. <laughs> And we'll do a tractor roll from this side, by which I mean we're just rolling along the ground. As a disclaimer, most planes cannot do this. All right, now this <laughs> is, Only try this at home if you have this, this one. This is slightly down, when you can see what I mean about the glide. So... All right. All right. Oh, just off the end there, got a bit of traffic taking off behind us there. We'll do another one into wind. I think you'll appreciate it rolling along the ground a bit better there. Right to left, coming in. Okay. Just let it touch, and look, you add a little bit of throttle, look at that. Can you see that? Yeah, got it. And then when you want, apply a little bit of power, a little bit of up, and away she goes. All right, so I'm going to just stall turn off of this. Do a fast pass this way, full power. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I bet you struggled to get that on camera. I didn't. All right, that's why we have the onboard, ladies and gentlemen. Right, I think I'm going to finish up with just a little lazy loop coming up here. Lovely jubbly. And a little roll off the bottom of that. Wow, oh, okay. This is the more regular sports flying program. That's more of what I'm used to. But like I said, it's a very versatile airframe. I think I'll bring it in now for a landing. Now on this 2200, get around five plus minutes. You can squeeze in a 2400 or 2500 for extended flight times. So now just See if I can flare into this. It will glide, flare, 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 flare. Oh, look at that. Probably just pick up these LEDs. Now, I tell you what you can also pick up. That chrome finished spinner, glinting in the sun there. Look at this. That white stance undercarriage, really showing its worth. That's the steerable uh, tower wheel. You will not have any problems ground handling with the Frenzy. So there we go, I hope you uh, got an, in, uh, an impression of just how well it flies and also how good it is for not only uh, those people starting out uh, learning aerobatics but pilots like myself that have been doing this a long, long time and want to push their boundaries a little bit more because it enables you to do that with uh, quite a, lo a lot of confidence because it's, it's very benign, it settles into the maneuvers easily and it gets out of them very nicely too. Great handling airframe, good all-round sports frame. Um, if you're new to flying or if you've been flying a long time, you definitely want one of these in your hangar because it's just so much fun and it's so easy. And it helps you learn as a pilot. So, check out the uh, H King Frenzy 1400mm plug and fly. Link below this video for it. It's a great all round model. Put one in your hangar, it'll be with you for years and you'll very much enjoy this. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe and look out for more videos coming soon on HobbyKing.com.